I want to give you a quick summary before the video. The left picture showing the bottom part of the bracket covering the end of the rubber seal so there's no way you can slide it out. The right picture shows when everything's done, I moved out the bracket and uh, insert the new rubber seal. And here is the detail of how I did it. Hey guys, this is the, the bottom seal of one of my garage doors. It was replaced in the hard way. I did that yesterday and I shoot a video for that. So today, I'm going to try replacing this side of a garage door. As you can see, this is the old and beat up one. This is all ripped already. But I'm going to try the easy way. The hard way I did yesterday was take off the, the cable from the, the bracket, then remove the bracket, take out the, the bottom seal, put in the new one, reattach the cable, and find out the door was crooked and I made a mistake in adjusting them. So today's goal is not taking off the cable from the bracket, only removing the three studs, I mean, sorry, the three screws, and move the bracket up by half an inch and then reattach it. So the metal bracket will clear out the entrance of the, the rail or the slots for the seals going into. So this way it will hopefully remove or reduce a lot of the headache for this job. So let's try that way. Now I have already done it. As you can see, this bottom lip is no longer sitting underneath or passing this white metal sheeting. So this bracket just been moved up by only half inch and it cleared out of the way. And this whole process, the tension on the cable was not very strong, so it wasn't hard at all. So this method works a lot better than the hard way. And you can see I just did it for the right side as well. So this rail or the track for the bottom seal is no longer covered anymore. This, this will make it a lot easier for removing or replacing the bottom seal now. And similar to the other side, there is a very rusty screw in the bottom. And I've been very, very carefully using a flathead screwdriver and I think I start to move it. So hopefully I'm not going to strip it this time or not going to break the head of this this time either. Here we go. I took out the two screws, one on the left on this side, another one is similar right at the spot. And I was successfully removing them, but slowly, very gingerly, carefully, so I pulled them out. Now it's time to just remove this, the old strip and then put in a new one. I found another trick to make it more helpful is, well, I removed the old one already, and I was trying to line up my new one, the new seal. And if you're looking from the side, now it's, I have a, the whole gap I can utilize, right? So from the, the left to the right, so I can line it up. And before, and if you notice, come on, focus. This bolt, I made it halfway out. Same for this one. Actually, it's, oh, it fall off. And this one's halfway out too. So I have a huge slack now. I can move it around. And the gravity actually did pull the store towards the outside. So this rail, so this rail, is no longer in my way when I was trying to feed my new rubber piece. And uh, I just thought about it, this would be more helpful. Otherwise, I was fighting so hard I couldn't get it started or it would slip out of the, the track so easily. So I thought this would be easier for us now. Okay, with my, the help from my in-laws again, we feed the whole thing in. So the only thing left is uh, I'm going to trim this off with only half inch overhand and uh, tied up all these uh, all these uh, three of the one two three of the bolts on both sides. Put this door back to where the location is and uh, call it the end of the day. Now let's see if I need to adjust the uneven height. Oh, that's perfectly. No more gap on the left. Well, I have a little tiny gap. I don't know if you can see it from here. But that gap is from the, maybe from the edge instead of a, the bottom seal. 
Well, perfect. I did skip some of the details or the information during the installation of the new seal, uh, but you can watch the other video I made, which is the hard way of how to replace the seal. If you find this video is helpful, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.